Hello! Welcome to my channel and welcome to my closet. I have been shopping. I have been doing some retail therapy, lots of online shopping. And today I have a few goodies to show you. I have something from Marc Jacobs, Farfetch, as well as a couple of things from Matches Fashion. So let's get started. We're starting with Marc Jacobs. I am a huge Marc Jacobs fan from his Perry Ellis collection that led to his firing and that also led to the way we dressed in the 90s to his own collection as well as everything he did at Louis Vuitton. I really think Marc Jacobs is a genius. I think Marc Jacobs is a huge art lover and a collector and I think what he does so well is his collaborations where he takes art and fashion and he molds them together. So what did I get? I got this adorable sweatshirt that says, you're so good at making me feel bad. It's actually Marc Jacobs and Magda Archer collaboration. Magda Archer is a British artist and illustrator. I'm such a fan. She uses all these nostalgic memorabilia. There's always cheeky references. It's pop art, but there's also this sense of childhood memories and just nostalgia of childhood. It's very kitschy, but it just in the best way possible. One of her earlier fashion collaborations was in 2012 with Comme des Garçons and they used one of her paintings for their ads and I do remember seeing that. It's the little lamb that says my life is crap and I thought that was so inventive. I remember looking her up then. I love the texture of the sweatshirt. It has a very dry feel. It's made of a terry cloth. This sweatshirt was regularly priced at 225 and I actually ended up getting it on sale at 135 I will link it below. It's still available on the Marc Jacobs website. She uses so many images that make me think of childhood and being a kid, but then the words she put to it are sarcastic and kitschy and fun. So I love everything about this collaboration. Okay, moving on to the next item, which will kind of be an unboxing, I guess. I'll unbox it while we speak. It is a pair of Balenciaga sandals. They're called the track sandals and they're based on the Balenciaga track tennis shoes. I remember these came out last season and I saw them in hot pink and I love them. And I kept waiting for them to go on sale because I thought they were very pricey at $6.95 full price. They ended up selling out and never going on sale. The hot pink ones are still available but not on sale anywhere. When I was perusing Farfetch, I came across this colorway, which is also available on the Balenciaga website, but on their website, it's $6.95 and on Farfetch, it was $5.50. So I just pulled a plug and bought them because I've been wanting them for a while. Ta-da! It is this baby pink colorway that I am so glad I didn't get the hot pink one because I love this so much more. Color is very baby spice. I love it. It's a Barbie color, but then the shoes are so masculine and they have nothing to do with a Barbie. I still think they're a little overpriced um, since they're basically polyurethane and polyester and rubber. The thing that I will give them is that they're super intricate and the way they're made, it's like they kind of look like future shoes or something. They're so interesting and cool. When I first opened them, I was a little scared. They just looked so huge. They looked even bigger than my really chunky big Gucci sandals. So um, let's try them on and see. Okay, I have them on. I was uh, really unsure about these, but now that I have them on, I love them. I love them. They're just so much fun and I love them. This is just so fun. They're great. I could play basketball in these. Oh, I don't play basketball though. Okay, the next two items are from Matches Fashion. I'm becoming a collector of Matches Fashion boxes. I am getting geared up for fall. It's, it's 100 degrees outside in LA right now, but I am in the fall kind of a mood. So I purchased this cutie from Margiela. I'm a big fan of Mark Margiela, as well as I'm a big fan of what John Galliano is doing at Margiela right now. This sweater is a cotton wool blend, so it's a little on the lighter side still, which for California, it's amazing. This sweater is regularly $835, and then on sale with the additional 20% off, I purchased it for $292. I love the raw neckline. I love the simplicity of Margiela, but it's never simple. There's always more to it than meets the eye. A sweater is not ever just a sweater. There's always a little more to it. It's very minimal but it's different and I love that about it. It's a bag. The next item is also for matches. It is a bag by Shrimps. 
shrimps i believe she is a uk based designer and she started off with doing faux fur coats and then she also ventured into these beaded bags which i think are quite beautiful and i've wanted one for a while now when this one came out i was just in love i really wanted it this came out in resort 2020 795 regular price which I thought was a little outrageous so I've been waiting for it and watching it and then when I received the additional 20% off I jumped on it I really wanted this bag I will not be keeping this bag when I opened the matches box it smelled like whoa it was like whoa plastic it was like plastic hit me in my face the smell was still there for days it's still a little bit there I don't know what is the smell is it the glue I looked it up but it's made in India and India is very famous for hand beading and it says it's a hand beaded bag. I just had to take the whole box outside to let it air dry. When I'm paying $350, I'm not going to be taking the box outside to let it air dry. My friend was over at my apartment and when he saw this, he couldn't read what it said because the F is all the way with the palm trees. And then this spacing is kind of awkward. I almost want to move this here. Just logistically, this is not working for me. Can't wait to return it. Bye. I would actually love to know if you have a shrimps bag. And if you do, uh, what do you think of the quality? Is it just this style? I'm not sure. Uh, it's really making me not want to buy a shrimps bag ever again because I feel like I'm being gypped here. And we've come to an end. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.